Hi everyone, how's it going? Rich Lee here, and today it's time for the final episode in Season 1 of my Oxford United Career Mode series. First up then, we're coming up against Portsmouth, and if we win this game, we will win that League 2 title. I've got Rouse up front for this one, Jiggler on the left wing, Grealish at Cam, Alfie on the right, Ruffles and Dalali for the middle, Meads right, Reigns and Bellerin at the back, with Johnson in goal. And Raute's on the ball here, he passes that across to Dalali. Dalali moves it to Ruffles, Ruffles is going to turn this across, he's trying to find a pass, he moves it to Raute, Raute's going to finesse that, he's been fouled has he? Nothing given. Dalali's on the ball now, he plays that for Grealish, Grealish can't get onto it and that's a horrible foul. Thankfully he's only been shown a yellow. Dalali's on the ball now, he plays that across to Ruffles, Ruffles moves it to Jiggler, Jiggler's through on goal, he smashes it into the corner and we're taking a 1-0 lead. Look at the absolute power that Jiggler gets behind that one. The keeper had no chance. And Jake Wright's on the ball here. That's a terrible pass, Jake. What are you playing at? And that's the half-time whistle. We take a 1-0 lead into the break. And Pompey have got a good chance here. And it's gone in the back of the net. It's 1-0. And Jake Wright's on the ball now. He's going to play that down the wing for Jiggler. Jiggler's going to turn this back. And can he get another goal? He gave us the lead earlier. Can he get a second goal? No, that's a good save. And Pompey have got a late free kick here. That's not a bad ball. We've got rid of it, though. It's out to Hoskins. And now Hoskins has got a chance to run at the Pompey defence. What can he do here? He's going to run this down the line. Is anyone going to get into the box? Can I make the most of this attack? Get in the box and I'm going to get it on someone's head. It's gone to Dembele and that's gone wide. And that's the final whistle. We picked up a 1-1 draw and that should be enough to secure us the title. And there's the official confirmation. Oxford United are the League 2 champions. And with the League 2 title already in the bag, I travel away to Shrewsbury and I've got a couple of players making their final ever appearance for Oxford United. Andy Wing and David Hunt. And Jiggler's on the ball here. He's going to strike that from outside the box. And we've got another chance here. What was that shot from Wilson? And we've got a free kick from 33 yards here with Jack Grealish. Is that a goal? Yes, it is. 1-0. I'll be looking to sign up Jack Grealish on a permanent basis in the summer. If this is his final game for us, though, then what a way to say goodbye. And that's the halftime whistle. We take a 1-0 lead into the break. And Dembele's on the ball now. He's going to smash that, and he's scored it on his final appearance. Dembele has found the back of the net once again, and he's made it 2-0. And that's the final whistle. The Oxford United players go absolutely mad. The Shrewsbury players look like they've been relegated for some reason. But now, Oxford United can celebrate winning that League 2 title. And Andy Wing may well be leaving the club, but he's still steps up to lift that League 2 title. We are the champions. Taking a look for the squad report then, Sam Johnson has gone up two ratings to a 60. He'll be going back to Port Vale soon though. Max Crocombe's gone up one rating to a 56. David Hunt is on the decline and will be leaving the club soon. Bellerin has gone up three ratings to a 64. He got a 6.4 average throughout the season, scored five goals and provided two assists. Matt Bevans has spent the season out on loan at Stevenage. He's gone up two ratings to a 55. Rain's got a 6.2 average this season and he's up to a 59 rating now. Martin Oza only made one appearance for me this season, but he's gone up four ratings anyway, with his physical, mental and technical game all improving. Christensen's gone up two ratings to a 60. He'll be going back to Chelsea soon though. Sam Long hasn't improved at all this season. He's still 52 rated. Jake Wright hasn't improved at all either. He's nearly 30 now and I'm considering moving him on for season 2. Mead's played 49 times for me this season with a 6.3 average. He's gone up 3 ratings to a 62 and he's improved nicely this season. Brad Smith has been Mead's backup this season. I've not been too impressed with him. He's up to a 55 rating now though with his physical, mental and technical game all improving. Wings on the decline and he'll be leaving the club soon on a free transfer. Dal Ali played 47 times for me this season, scored three goals, provided four assists. He's gone up by four ratings to a 59 and I've been very impressed with him. Alfie made 53 appearances for me this season, scored seven goals, provided 10 assists. I haven't had a backup right midfielder this season, so that's why he's played so many games for me and it has benefited him though going up two ratings with his physical, mental and technical game all improving. Ruffles played 40 times for me this season. He's gone up to a 62 rating and I've been pretty impressed with him. Danny Rose has also played well for me this season, going up to a 62 rating with his physical, mental and technical game all improving. Josh Ashby's been out on loan at Plymouth and he's gone up to a 50 rating now. Brian Howard spent the season out on loan as well. He's on the decline now and I'll be selling him in the summer. Grealish played 52 times for me this season, scored 8 goals, provided 6 assists. 
I will be trying to bring him back to the club on a permanent basis. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to do that though, but if we could sign him, then that would be absolutely amazing. Callum O'Dowder hasn't had much game time this season. He's gone up to a 55 rating though, with his technical game having improved. Raute came into the club on a free transfer this season. He played 15 times for me. He's got up two ratings with his physical, mental and technical game all improving. Humphreys has spent the season out on loan and hasn't improved at all. James Wilson has spent the season with us on loan from Manchester United. He scored 16 goals in 30 appearances and his mental and technical game have both improved. Dembele scored 11 goals in 43 appearances and his mental and technical game have both improved as well. Sam Hoskins was brought in from Yeovil in January for 160k. He's already worth 275 and his physical, mental and technical game have all improved. Mason Bennett has been on loan at Oxford from Derby this season. He's gone up three ratings to a 64 with his technical and mental game both improving. James Roberts has spent the season out on loan. He's up to a 50 rating now with his technical game having improved massively. Will Hoskins has spent the season out on loan at Birmingham. He's up to a 66 rating now. He's worth 600k and I'll be moving him on in the summer. David Jiglett has probably been my most impressive player this season. 17 goals from the left wing. He's got up five ratings to a 64 and look at those improvements. Danny Haynes is joining us from Notts County for season two. He's got incredible pace and I'm very much looking forward to using him. Sam Walker is joining us on a pre-contract as well. He's six foot six tall and I think he's going to be an absolute beast of a goalkeeper. David Jiglett Jiggler was the only player of mine to make it into the top 10 goal scorers this season. He scored 13 goals from the left wing. I also had James Wilson in the top 25. He scored 11. Ruffles and Grealish both got six assists for me this season and they made it into the top 25 along with Alfie Potter who got five. So that's the end of season one then. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again for season two.